All right, guys, I told you I was going to do a video for the ACTA2 people because I've realized some things. Um, the thing that I've realized is our arteries are actually very, very weak. Um, obviously, nobody planned for this to happen, but I'm realizing some of my dis dissections and what caused them. You know, I did all these videos about open heart surgery preparation and you know, generally the things that I recommended are good for people who do not have the ACTA2 defect. I am realizing that the stretching is not good. The yoga is not good for us. Um, I did pay attention to their recommendations when I came home just in terms of the, uh, the weight limitations. But after a few months, you know, I was carrying like 40 pound bags of dog food up and down the stairs. I was taking, you know, I was carrying very heavy things up and down the stairs, and it's not like they were very heavy. I'm, not, I'm talking like 30 pounds. And I think that what we have to do, and again, I have the ACTA2 defect. That's the 149 CYS version. That's the one that they've studied the most. But I think we have to be very, very careful. Um, when I get out of here and I go home, I have plans of never lifting anything heavy whatsoever. I am talking like five pounds is gonna be my limitation. You know, I've always carried like multiple, I just hate depending on people for things that I think that I can do. And if I even think back to, you know, the surgeries I had in 2005, um, you know, I described, you know, the circumstances that brought me to that point. But at the same time, I was actually trying to move a beer keg which is really stupid, I realize, with aortic dissection. But again, I don't like depending on people for things. And I really think that we, those of us with this defect, have to be very careful. I am talking not moving anything heavy. You know, I've been trying to use my knees to push things around, but even still, I think we have to just act like our arteries are tissue paper because it's appearing that's exactly the kind of integrity that they have. And I wanted to make sure that I left this, you know, just in case, um, because just as this is just something that I've realized, the defect we have has made things incredibly sensitive and incredibly weak. And you know, I'm I'm realizing even like years ago when I wanted to go snowboarding, my doctors were worried that I would go all out, which is why they didn't recommend I did it. And they thought that you know me being out in the snow would be a bad thing. But I'm realizing if I had fallen too heavy or hard I could have burst something you know if I had run into something I could have burst something I mean really anything like any hard jarring to your body is not going to be good for people like us you know I'm talking about anything falling down could even be really dangerous for us just in terms of like blunt force trauma and what it is doing to your internal vessels and I wanted to make sure that I got this out because I don't think that's a lot of the recommendations that we've had. I think that I've had more surgical intervention than anyone else that, that's had the, uh, the defect who is still alive. And I just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware you need to be incredibly careful. I'm talking not lifting anything heavy whatsoever. Being careful for any, like, like you can't do contact sports at all. I'm talking no roller drink, like nothing like that. You're going to want to just be very productive for the integrity of your vessels and your vasculature so you don't end up in a position like me where you're getting multiple surgeries because there's not a lot that I've shied away from. I've always just done, you know, pretty much what everybody else has done. But as you can see, this has obviously ended up being kind of a disaster for my internal anatomy. And I wanted to make sure that those of you who have this defect know that. Now, this is going to be my last video until I am actually awake from surgery in a few days. And yeah, I just wanted to make sure I did this for you guys because it's very important. And wish me luck tomorrow. Again, it's March 17th, 2023. I'm having this. And give me all your good thoughts. All right. Thanks again. Bye.